Hello and welcome to vlog number 106. Last week I received an email from Parkinson patient Alan Roan requesting that I research the incidence and association of skin cancer and medication in PD. Alan has been unfortunate enough to have had two brushes with skin cancer since starting on dopamine based medication six years ago. Firstly, a squamous cell carcinoma on his head which was surgically removed and more recently a basal cell carcinoma on his face. He noticed that the notes that accompanied his co-carodopa medication clearly stated do not take if you have suffered from skin cancer and consulted his neurologist on both occasions to obtain his advice. In the first instance the response was that the risk mainly applied to melanoma and was not so serious with squamous cell carcinomas. In the second instance, Alan didn't even get a response, which suggests, to me, that the neurologist didn't know the answer to the question. I had never read enough of the notes that accompanied my meds to come across this reference. Having skipped straight to the possible side effects section where skin cancer was notable by its absence. And so, I was surprised to find quite a lot of information about cancers in general and Parkinson's disease when I looked online. I was unaware that people with Parkinson's are generally at less risk of having a cancer diagnosis but have a statistically significant increased risk of malignant melanoma. I found a paper published on the US National Library of Medicine by Pei Huang et al. entitled The Association Between Parkinson's Disease and Melanoma A Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis which analysed 24 studies on PD and melanoma in an attempt to evaluate the association of these two conditions. Insufficient evidence of a link to the use of levodopa medications was found, since few quality studies were focused on it, but the report concludes that an association between PD and melanoma was confirmed. Most of the evidences were of high quality and the conclusion was robust. Additionally, the report found the risk of non-melanoma skin cancers in Parkinson's was slightly higher than the general population. The risk of melanoma is about four times greater for a person with PD than it is for the general population, but it is interesting that the risk of PD is also about four times greater for melanoma patients, so the link runs both ways. Melanin is a pigment which determines skin and hair colour. It also exists in neurons in the substantia nigra in the brain, where it is termed neuromelanin, and is protective of neurons, saving them from oxidative stress. Abnormalities in melanin can be the cause of melanoma and other skin cancers, while PD is correlated with abnormalities in neuromelanin, so it is thought that melanin is a key link between Parkinson's and melanoma. So, what of the warning on the levodopa medication? As the synthesis of dopamine and melanin share biomedical pathways, and some studies have found that PD patients develop melanoma after commencing L-dopa therapy, it had been hypothesised that there is a link between melanoma and levodopa. Recent studies, however, have concluded that this link is merely a coincidence. PD increases the risk of melanoma, not levodopa. I think manufacturers of these levodopa medications are just covering their backs. Given inconclusive evidence, they are being cautious. If they warn patients not to use the medication if they've had skin cancer, it would be that much harder to sue if a link is subsequently proven. Of course, none of this is of much comfort to Alan, who is left to make his own risk assessment, without much in the way of support from his neurologist or his doctor, who is unaware of any link between Parkinson's and skin cancer. I think his conclusion that the risk is small is probably correct, but I think the lack of advice from his health professionals, in light of the bold statement in the notes that accompany his medicine, is a real matter for concern. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.